Happy New Year's to everybody. Uh, but let's lead straight into this. This is a B3 Custom. And it's a three stripe, which means grade one. And it's shape 23.2 on the custom scale, which makes it a mid middle with a long sweeping edge, as you can see there. Basically giving it a sweet spot about that long with a nice high spine. As far as the uh, system goes 0.2 means concaving so uh, 0.1 is less concaving than 0.4 uh, I don't know if that equates to millimetres but generally if that's 0.2 then that looks like about 3 millimetres of concaving you've got there on both sides which is basically taken out that willow there and allowed it to be more evenly distributed uh, along the blade this particular bat has a lot of grains and a lot of heartwood, as you can see there. Uh, I haven't counted the grains. 12, 13 grains. Uh, heartwood on the right hand is outside edge. As far as the symmetry of those, they're not perfectly square right through. You can see them sort of slanting in, but generally right in the middle they're going dead straight. And then they're slanting out there. So, nice bat, a few little knots in that on the back. This is not their LE grade, which is uh, higher again as far as grade one. But um, it's pressed like a typical B3. I've actually uh, prepared this bat, so I've done a little bit of knocking on the edges and the toe, and I've done my own face sheet and uh, shoe goo and yeah, so. That's my own little work there. I've also done my own little bit of extra polishing on it just to make it even bling a bit more. So let's tap it up. So it sounds pretty good. Going well there. Going really well right there. Still got some here, and now it's petering out as that spine runs through the toe. Off centre with that scooping. It's still got some pink there. If you're hitting it in the right spots, like there. So yeah, pings really well, um, and. As typical with uh, most of the B3s I've knocked in, I haven't really had to do a lot, uh, to be perfectly honest. They're well pressed. So, yeah, you've just got to make sure you're round and knock your edges, do your, your toe area down here. Generally, they're, they're right to go right through here. And you could probably just get away with that and throwing them on the bowling machine. I've put Shugu on um, just to protect it from all the indoor net use. Uh, but the black stickers look quite nice. I nice, noticed they've got new ones coming out for next year, which is white background with red B3. So that's definitely something different for them. So yeah, really nice bat. And uh, we'll turn the camera around and we'll bounce the ball on it. Okay, so... Another thing I forgot to weigh this, um, scuffed, it's 2.9, dead. Uh, when I first got it before it was oiled and scuffed and toe guard, it was 2.85. So we'll bounce the three piece on it. Really nice. Right in that driving zone. So it actually performs a lot better mid to low. Maybe a little bit mid, but it's definitely got plenty left because of that spine height that it carries down through to the toe for driving. So it's really 
good shape. Next we'll do the jukes. A lot of toe there, coming up the blade hopefully. So at the moment the blade is pretty hard. Uh, but with a few nets, really picking right there. With a few nets, this will be swinging. The tighter grain structure gives it a much harder playing surface uh, immediately. So that won't take a lot to get going. The handle on this one is predominantly thick round just with the one chevron, so adding an extra would take it to two ten and a half. As far as pickup goes for 2.9, the website says balanced and I would agree with that, but I would say in my hands it actually picks up a little bit heavier than 2.9 and that's just purely because you've got less weight here everything's been distributed right here through the hitting area so it's going to come down nice and quick this one it was a showroom bat so yeah just ask for the black stickers looks really nice with the black stickers and the white grip i think so there you go a b3 custom 23.2 um, on their system and it pretty much looks identical to the um, profile that you'll see online which I'll uh, superimpose underneath this so you'll see that uh, their CNC design is pretty spot on you just have to pick the weight so thanks very much to uh, B3 sending that out and yeah hope everybody has a great new year